Hello, Graham Roberts here. Welcome to the third tutorial in this series about multiple panels in Java using the NetBeans IDE. We left our tutorial looking like this, where we had a program which had five panels in a frame, and when you click them, they identified which frame they were in. We're going to now make the one template that is my pane into five templates one for each of the panels so that they could be worked on individually if there was team development and even more importantly that we can construct each panel for a separate task in the next tutorial we will see how the panels can communicate with each other Right, so in this one we're going to make five panels from one and so we just get rid of the program and start to do that. Well, we have certain services in NetBeans IDE and that's what we're going to exploit and take advantage of. So first of all, if we look at my panel, there it is, we, we want to change it to uh, set up what it's going to be when it's say north panel. We're going to take away the name which we pass to it in the constructor because one of the reasons we're making uh, more of these is to reduce the length of the argument we need to pass to the constructor from the parent frame. We take away the attribute for name and the reference to it in the constructor and finally we're going to change the set text to say this dot get class and we want the name of the class so we're going to ask for get name as you do this you could hang around and see what get class and get name do uh, the compiler will or rather the IDE will give you some information on that uh, well, what we need to know is that the name of the panel will now be revealed along with its package name when the button is clicked so that's it let's run our program well there seems to be a problem and uh, it's identified where the problem is it's here we're referencing something no longer exists in the constructor so we just need to get rid of those by a miracle of tutorial that is now done we save it and we should see a cleanup go along in the background by the way if we want to get a cleanup we can just ask for uh, build project or clean and build and variations on that anyways let's run this again and this time it appears to be working and so we click well multi panels my panel multi panel is the package name and my panel is the name of the class if I click this one can you guess what it will show yes it's all going to be about my panel that's why we need to differentiate and we need to really have different panels with different names so that we can identify them without having to pass a parameter and some sort of trick for a name okay well the next step then is to actually make five classes from one if we highlight a class we can try the copy well refactor copy what do we want to call it well it's not my panel one we want to call it panel north notice the capital P because it's a class so far so good let's go back to it again and we use the same trick rename and this time course it will be panel something else let's say east 
we go clockwise around the compass. This trick is so good, I'm going to do it with the others magically through the tutorial. Well, here we have it, and we've got now multi panels, which is the frame, and we've got the center, the south, the west, the east, and the north panels created. The proof of the pudding is in the eating, so let's run it and see what happens. When we run it, we get actually what we had before, which is what we would expect. But now, when I click it, what do I get? I get multi panels, panel east, in the wrong place east, east, east and east. Why is this happening? Well, let's close the program and have a look. If we look down at our multi-panels, panel north is pointing to panel east, so is east, west, centre and south. So we're running the wrong constructor on the panels. Well, you can't get everything so we do need to do a few things ourselves so that's what we do and we're going to do that now just naming them appropriately when we've done that we still have a problem now can you see what it is the declaration is wrong here everything is a panel east well of course it was originally one my panel so actually we need to make different declarations for each one which I'll do next. So this is what one should have where the five are declared. Uh, something I've noticed is I had a bit of a typo and I've called over here I've called pane center instead of panel center so that was a typo I'm just going to correct those I'll show you one of them um, if I refactor and rename and I just want to make sure that's got the L of panel in it and I refactor that and I'll do the others next well here we are back again with it all neat and tidy sorry about that so these are now all called panel and we should be okay to go so let's run the program here we have it same as expected last time we clicked on panel north and it said east and now it says north and in fact they all say as they should appropriately well what we've done here is to differentiate the panels by instantiating separate classes and that means we can develop in separate classes and that means we can develop modularized um, and we can hide data in each of the classes if we want to during the development process in the next tutorial we're going to see how we can communicate between the panels in this multi-panel layout of a frame.